57 millimeter recoilless rifle. Weight, 40 pounds. Range, 4,000 yards. Accuracy and effect comparable to the 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. The two and three quarters pound projectiles it fires are HE, HEAT, WP, and canister. With this ammunition, the new 57 has a muzzle velocity of 1,200 feet per second. The charge is contained in a perforated case, allowing powder gases to escape to the rear through carefully designed breech block openings. These openings permit the explosive force to be exerted backward and forward, leaving the weapon itself unaffected. Rounds have pre-engraved rotating bands, and this HE shell, a super-sensitive fuse. By way of comparison, first an M1 rifle is fired. The 57, loaded with a shell that can stop a tank, has absolutely no recoil. For mechanical expediency, in the present design, the constricted opening at the breech consists of two separate parts. The paper lining in the shell case burns up on firing, permitting the powder gas to pass through the perforations and on out the rear. Therefore, by use of the recoilless feature, the great weight of the standard recoil mechanism is done away with. But the back blast that overcomes recoil creates a danger area some 50 feet to the rear. All personnel are cautioned to stay out of that area. Only two men, gunner and loader, are necessary to operate the 57, which may be fired from any standard rifle position. In the prone position, the shoulder rest converts into a bipod to support the breech, and an adjustable monopod under the tube changes elevation. Test firing the 57. A four-inch concrete wall. Damage resulting from an HEAT projectile. A hit on a medium tank at any range will penetrate the armor. Complete penetration through three inches of the turret. The rifle's mounted on a tripod for fire against moving targets. Next, a severe test of accuracy. A pillbox at 300 yards. The embrasure is less than a foot wide. Fire will be directed inside the embrasure where these silhouettes represent the approximate positions of the defenders. Illustrating the weapon's high degree of accuracy, the film records the first round fired. Direct hit. Every silhouette is blasted and riddled. Even the mock machine guns and the log roof are thoroughly splintered by fragments. Because of the ammunition's small bursting radius, it's best used against point targets. In concealing firing positions, consideration is given to an opening for the back blast. Here, it'll go out of the window. The two-man carry with the rifle in its case is the easiest transportation method. The packboard carry lets one man do the job and is more practicable over rough terrain. The weapon is carried ready for action up close to the target. The 57 is handled much like a small caliber rifle. More detailed technical and tactical information is available in training film 7-1416. Technique for indirect fire is the same as for the heavy machine gun. A battery of four 57s on machine gun tripods. Larger recoilless weapons are in development. This is the 75 with machine gun tripod and panoramic sight. The recoilless 75 weighs about 100 pounds and may prove to be just as accurate and more powerful than the present 57 millimeter anti-tank gun. 